Well, good morning, church family, and I'm so grateful to God once again to be able to start this Monday morning off with you in the Word of God, and let's do that together. Let us turn to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. My lovely wife has been working on her Masters of Biblical Languages. She's got two classes remaining. This past week, she took her final exams, and she is approaching the finish line to getting her master's degree, and I'm, I'm so proud of her, so excited for what God has allowed her to do and how he's led in her life. Um, this last class that she had was First and Second Thessalonians. She took every verse of those two books of the Bible. She translated them from the Greek to the English. She diagrammed them grammatically. She gave exegetical thoughts. She had papers to write. She had vocabulary. It was, it was an extensive and intensive class. But one of the passages that really thrilled her heart as she studied this passage of Scripture was here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. I'd just like to read a few verses to you and just uh, maybe remind you of a few things and encourage your heart this morning. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, let's start in verse number 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh, as a thief in the night. I, I love how Paul is writing this church and he, he expresses to them that you don't have need for me to tell you about these things. You already know them. And thank God that we have his word. Thank God that, that we have the ability to understand what's happening in our world today, not through man's wisdom, but through the, the lens of God's word. Verse three, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, because we are not children of darkness, because we are not ignorant of this world and of Satan and of, of, of all of the, the things that are happening in the world today, we are not of this world system. We've been redeemed by Christ because of that. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. What a comforting passage of Scripture. I was speaking to a young lady yesterday at our beach baptism. By, by the grace of God, praise God. We had 14 people baptized yesterday down at the beach. It um, had a wonderful time of fellowship, and a lot of people from our church came out. It was wonderful. But before all that happened, I was sitting there speaking to a young lady for a while, and she confessed that you know studying the end times can be a little bit... Uh, scary for her. She she can have a little bit of anxiety when reading Revelation or thinking about the things to come. And I, I can understand that. I think a lot of people would, if we would be honest with ourselves, uh, a lot of us would have a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of fear and uncertainty about what the future holds. But when we come to the Word of God and recognize that in Christ Jesus, He died for us and redeemed us. It says, for God hath not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. We are seeing literally things happen in our world that verify the word of God and its truth like never before. The word of God is proving itself to be, be true. It is indestructible. It is undeniable. And it is forever settled in heaven. And it doesn't matter what scoffer or, or what intelligent person wants to try to belittle it or throw it down, say it's archaic and past due. I'm just, I'm just here to tell you today, the word of God is as relevant today, more relevant today than it has ever been but most of us Christians are sleeping. 
Paul said it is time to awake from sleep. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So many people in this world are sleepwalking through their life and they have no idea what is going on. They're controlled by fear. They're controlled by uncertainty. They're controlled by whatever the news media and whatever society tells them. Friend, that's not how the Christian should live. We ought to live soberly. We ought to live seriously and understanding. Not there's a there's a relationship here between soberness and drunkenness. We're not supposed to be stumbling through the world as though we were drunken. We have we have the truth of God. We have the revealed word of God, and we understand exactly what Christ desires for our lives. So, friend, I wonder: Are, are you sleepwalking? Have you been walking in anxiety and fear of so many things going on in our world today? Friend, take up take up your cross and follow Jesus Christ. Put on put on your armor today. The word of God teaches us, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith. And it talks about let's suit up for battle. Let's fight for Jesus Christ today. Let's fight the good fight of faith today. Get on your knees and pray. Get in your word. Get in the Bible and the word of God today. Seek the face of God. And may God help us in these last days to make a stand for him. I don't know about you. I believe with all my heart the rapture's coming just right around the corner. And I don't wanna I don't wanna enter heaven's gates with my head hung low because I didn't do all that I could. I want to bust through the gates of glory with the hammer down. I'm praying for you. I hope that you'll pray for me. And may God help us to walk soberly as children of the day. Fight the good fight of faith. I'm praying for you.